Our time of confession and assurance uh, comes from Psalm 22, verses 1 to 8. And uh, for those of us who may not be familiar, this is uh, a portion of this is what Jesus uh, recites when he is on the cross. And the context of this passage is so important. Uh, and so we'll, we'll read that and then talk about it just a little bit before we pray for our time of confession. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer. By night, by I, but I find no rest. Yet, you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the praise of Israel. In you, our ancestors put their trust. They trusted and you delivered them. They cried to you and were saved. In you, they trusted and were not disappointed. But I am a worm, not a human being. I am scorned by everyone, despised by the people. All who see me mock me. They hurl insults, shaking their heads. He trusts in the Lord, they say. Let the Lord rescue him. Let him deliver him, since he delights in him. The word of the Lord. Amen. In this passage, we not only see the agony of the psalmist, but we also very clearly, because of what Jesus said on the cross, is we see the agony of Jesus on the cross. And in that moment on the cross, Jesus proclaims loudly by quoting this psalm that he understands. That he understands our condition. That he understands our experience. That he knows what we go through. It is not just a cry out against his heavenly father. In fact, that's not really the point at all. As you read the psalmist, you see that the context, the psalmist knows that God will save because he knows that God has saved. Not only do we hear in this the cry of the psalmist, but we hear the cry of the entire people of Israel throughout their whole history. And by that we see the cry of humanity. All groaning with pain and sorrow and shame. Jesus takes on all those burdens. And he understands our sorrow. And he gives it up. The one who is enthroned as the Holy One. The one who is the praise of Israel. The one in whom all of our ancestors put their trust. That one puts himself in our place forever and for always. This morning as we come to a time of confession, let us confess that yes, we have felt that grief. Yes, we have felt that sorrow. Yes, we have felt that shame. And yes, we need a Savior. But let us also remember the great comfort and assurance that we are not alone, but our Savior became one of us and understands. Let us pray. 
Our Father in heaven, thank you so much for your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, we confess that by our own doing, we have made ourselves through our sin into worms and not human beings. We have groaned in pain. We have felt forsaken and far from being saved. But, oh God, at the same time, we know that you are our deliverer, that you are our Savior, that you are the praise of Israel and enthroned as the Holy One, Jesus. So, Father, please forgive our doubt. Forgive our sin. Forgive us for fearing things other than you, O oh God. And thank you. Thank you so much that we can indeed put our trust in you. For you, O oh God, are the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. We praise you, O oh God, for you have delivered our ancestors, and you will deliver us again. And you have delivered us even today, through Jesus, our Lord. We pray this in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Great three in one. Amen.